tree just fell down. Can you guys see that? Our tree just fell down in our yard. All right, so my diet bet weigh-in is today, and I'm getting close to her losing 20 pounds from when I started four or five months ago. Oh no, here comes the out of shape itchies. I always get all itchy when I'm out of shape and I go exercise. It's the worst. Woo! She was a trooper. We did awesome through the whole thing. You my little running buddy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dad's gonna be sore. Uh-oh. Good morning, guys. So we just finished filming a challenge that's gonna go up on Monday, I think. This is your only clue. <laughs> it was a funny one. I'm like crying from laughing. What are you up to? Jailhouse out. What? It's not even nighttime yet. You can't jailhouse out it yet. Looks like a storm's coming in. Can you see it? Our tree just fell down. Do you guys see that? Our tree just fell down in our yard. Oh my gosh. Did it hit our house? Oh my gosh. No, it did not hit our house. Oh, did you guys see that? It's okay, Isaac. It's okay. One okay. could fall and hit our house. Okay. okay, so we're all snuggled up on the bed, but I think the kids are a little bit worried about this storm. What are you thinking, Isaac? A tree might fall down there one time. My friend Hayden, he, he, a big tree fell down in their house on the kitchen. Big storms, they can be pretty intense. Are you okay, Lisey? You're fine. You're fine. Look how nice and warm we are. The rain is really coming out, down out there, though. And it's would not safe What would happen there. if... It's not safe outside right now, but we're inside of our what house. What would huh? happen if, uh, if thunder hit the top of our house? Well, thunder is just the sound of lightning. But if lightning strikes a house, lots of different things can happen. It's really loud. I had a friend whose house was hit by lightning when I was in high school. And it just, like, cracked their chimney. Okay, guys. Do you guys want to read a book and play a game? Distract ourselves? Yeah. It's going to be all right, big guy. Dad. We have calmed down. We're just snuggling on the bed. And today we are going to finish up another one of our read-alouds. We've been reading Beezus and Ramona. Did you guys read that as a kid? I read it as a kid, and so it's been super fun to read it with these kiddos. I have four loads of laundry to fold. Why do I let this pile up? Time to get to it. So it was about an hour ago when those dark clouds started moving in and you could hear the thunder and the hail started and as I saw that storm coming in I thought oh great like the rest of the day is going to be rainy and I was thinking about how I won't be able to go running and we're not going to be able to mow the lawn and I was just thinking about how the, the rain and the dark clouds and the storm at that moment felt like it was going to stay a while. And I just remember feeling a little bit discouraged and like, oh great, we're gonna have to change our plans. And now it's funny how it's an hour later and look at these beautiful skies. And do you guys hear those birds? And I just am thinking about how often my life is like that and I'm in a trial or something is irritating me and in that moment I can't see past that trial. I, I don't see it as a momentary thing. I see it as this like, long-term thing and I forget about how quickly phases in life pass and how quickly life changes. I just need to remember to see that this is a storm and storms pass and to do the best I can to look for the sunshine because it's coming around the corner and sorry those are kind of cheesy thoughts but that's what I was thinking and I'm grateful for the sunshine and for the storm and for the reminder that the sunshine and the storm are 
of the beauty in life and that phases and life change and to hold on to the beauty and to seek the beauty because it's there. And I needed that reminder in my life today. So thanks for letting me share that with you. Caleb, did you see our tree? It fell down, but we can build a tree house on, on top, but we can put glue on the grass and it can stick. Wait, what do you want to do? Put it back up. How are we going to put it back up? Put glue on the bottom. Oh, who could do that job? That sounds like a big job. Uh, Papa. Oh, Papa could. What kinds of tools do you think he might need? I could help him with my pretend tools. With your pretend tools you could help him? Yeah. I want a granola bar. How can I say no to that face? The funniest thing just happened, guys. I just have to tell you about it. So Mr. Caleb just had the longest fluffer in the world. Just in case you know, fluffer is what our family calls for farting. It's just a nicer word to say. Anyway, so Caleb just fluffered the biggest fluffer in the world, and then he started cracking up laughing. And I looked over to him, and I said, Caleb, and he said, what, Mom? It was a fluffer storm, not a thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a clever thing to say. You say the funniest things. Uh oh. Did I just hear another fluffer storm starting? <laughs> no! I don't want to be part of a fluffer storm. That's the worst kind of storm I, I can imagine. I, I thought that he said fluffer store. Me oh, too. a fluffer. <laughs> you thought he fluffer said fluffer store? store? I would never go to a place called a fluffer store. Would you go to a place called a fluffer store? Because I like fluffers. <laughs> would you go to a fluffer store? Oh, I'd have to wear like a gas mask. Okay, so now you make your seat. What are you doing? Bellowing. <laughs> are you bellowing? What animal bellows? Koala bears. And what does a bellow sound like? <laughs> so apparently a bellow is the sound of like a snore with a burp on the end and we've been learning about koalas today and so we've all been bellowing <laughs> the comments below try to do that <laughs> Elise wants you to try bellowing and let us know what you think of it in the comments below Ready? we need to look up on like YouTube or something what a koala really sounds like <laughs> You guys try to tell us in the comments below. This is a moment I do not get sick of. I love snuggling with Laura and, and feeding her when she wakes up. And yes, Lisey is usually right here with us. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Are you guys Please laughing? Are you guys me with my yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have I mentioned recently why I enjoy having our kids close together in age? It is a lot of work some days, but it is also beautiful. <laughs> what are you guys doing? A beat fight. You're doing a beat fight? Yeah. I went running again tonight. It felt awesome. I did four miles and you know what? No matter how far I go, the first two miles is always miserable. And then I like get another like second wind and then I can go a lot longer. So it felt really nice to go four miles. And in other news, this man has fallen asleep. How many times while editing tonight? Too many. I keep falling asleep. <laughs> He's so tired. It's such a dumb vlog. It's boring. I'm tired. No, I'm just so sleep deprived. Like months of sleep deprivation adding up. It's so I'm officially calling the editing quits for the night and we are going to put this man to bed and make sure he gets some sleep. So I'm sorry the vlog won't be up super early tomorrow like it usually is. Thanks for understanding you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> J House out. He's already out. Yeah. He's asleep. I'm gone. He's gone.